Hello, friend of God. Welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday, August 7th. Today I will be your host, Aiden Rampersad. And before we begin, I just want to acknowledge that today we will be using the pattern of prayer authorized by the Anglican Church of Canada called Pray Without Ceasing. Now, before we begin, let's take a moment of silence, opening our hearts and mind to the love and presence of our Lord. O Lord, open our lips together, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. You laid the foundations of the earth together, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, together, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 119, verses 97 to 120. O now, I love your law. I meditate on it all day long. Your commands are always with me and make me wiser than my enemies. I have more insight than all my teachers, for I meditate on your statutes. I have more understanding than the elders, for I obey your precepts. I have kept my feet from every evil path, so that I may obey your word. I have not departed from your laws, for you yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. I gain understanding from your precepts, therefore I hate every wrong path. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. I have taken an oath and confirmed it, that I will follow your righteous laws. I have suffered much. Preserve my life, Lord, according to your word. Accept, Lord, the willing praise of my mouth, and teach me your laws. Though I constantly take my life in my hands, I will not forget your law. The wicked have set a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your precepts. Your statutes are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. My heart is set on keeping your decrees to the very end. I hate double-minded people, but I love your law. You are my refuge and my shield. I have put my hope in your word. Away from me, you evildoers, that I may keep the commands of my God. Sustain me, my God, according to your promise, and I will live. Do not let my hopes be dashed. Uphold me, and I will be delivered. I will always have regard for your decrees. You reject all who stray from your decrees, for their delusions come to nothing. All the wicked of the earth you discard, like dross. Therefore, I love your statutes. My flesh trembles in fear of you. I stand in awe of your laws. Lord, you are just, and your commandments are eternal. Teach us to love you with all our heart and to love our neighbor as ourselves. For the sake of Jesus our Lord. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, together, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Acts chapter 3, verses 12 to 26. When Peter saw this, he said to them, Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? Why do you stare at us as if by our own power or godliness we had made this man walk? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus. You handed him over to be killed, and you disowned him before Pilate, though he had decided to let him go. You disowned the Holy and Righteous One, and asked that a murderer be released to you. You killed the author of life, but God raised him from the dead. We are witnesses of this. By faith in the name of Jesus, this man whom you see and know was made strong. It is Jesus' name and the faith that came through him that has completely healed him as you can all see. Now, fellow Israelites, I know that you acted in ignorance 
as you did your leaders. But this is how God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, saying that his Messiah would suffer. Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord, and that he may send the Messiah who has been appointed for you, even Jesus. Heaven must receive him until the time comes for God to restore everything as he promised long ago through his holy prophets. For Moses said, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own people. You must listen to everything he tells you. Anyone who does not listen to him will be completely cut off from their people. Indeed, beginning with Samuel, all the prophets who have spoken have foretold these days. And you are heirs of the prophet and of the covenant God made with your fathers. He said to Abraham, Through your offspring all peoples on earth will be blessed. When God raised up his servant, he sent him first to you to bless you by turning each of you from your wicked ways. Holy Wisdom, Holy Word, together, thanks be to God. The Responsory Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. Together, Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you, you hold me by my hand. Together, Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. I will speak of all your works in the gates of the city of Zion. Together, Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. An Affirmation of Faith Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There's no commandment greater than these. The Prayers of the Community As a responsory for this prayer, we will say together, Holy One, accomplish your purpose in us. Liberators of the peoples, fill all who confess the name of Christ with the power of your Holy Spirit. Together, Holy One, accomplish your purpose in us. Be the joy and the strength of all whose lives are bound in mutual love and of those who live in celibacy. Together, Holy One, accomplish your purpose in us. Grant your salvation to all who are far from home, prisoners, exiles, and victims of oppression. Holy One, accomplish your purpose in us. Show your kindness and mercy to all who are facing trials and difficulties to those who are sick and to those who are dying. Together, Holy One, accomplish your purpose in us. Forgive our sins and set us free from all hardship, distress, want, war, and injustice. Holy One, accomplish your purpose in us. Guide us into new and just ways of sharing the goods of the earth so that we may live by the abundance of your mercies. Together, Holy One, accomplish your purpose in us. Strengthen us in our struggle against exploitation, greed, and lack of concern so that we may find joy together. Together, Holy One, accomplish your purpose in us. Unite us in love and service so that we may live in communion with all Christ's saints. Together, Holy One, accomplish your purpose in us. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safety to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. This concludes the morning prayer for Wednesday, August 7th. Thank you, friend of God, for joining us today. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God, who has called us out of darkness into the marvelous light of Christ, bless us and fill us with peace. Amen.